Firstly, I just want to thank all of those who commented on my last video. So many amazing and insightful comments. If I miss out any details, the comment section fills in the gaps as it were. In the background, I'm always working on tutorials and courses, which of course require a lot more time to create and release. So for those of you who like my courses and tutorials, just to let you know, I'm working on this type of long form content in the background all the time and will of course continue to release these types of videos in the near future. There are a lot of free courses and tutorials already published to this channel. The links to these courses and tutorials have been included below in the description, but more courses and tutorials are coming soon. So in this video, we are going to discuss which of these two top tier programming languages, Python or C Sharp, should you learn first in 2025? This question can apply to noobs right through to seasoned developers looking to broaden their horizons by learning a new language. In an ideal situation, I would encourage you to learn both languages, but unfortunately we don't have infinite time on this planet. Unless you are undead like Nosferatu, of course. So time management is important. Let's first look at an overview of Python, and then we'll look at an overview of C Sharp. Then we'll compare the two languages and see if we can get to the bottom of which of these languages is best to prioritize in terms of learning in 2025. As always, I want to get your feedback on which of these languages you are going to prioritize in 2025 and would love to also know your reasons for your choice. Right, let's look at an overview of Python. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Was that better? Ah, much more elegant entrance. Python overview. Python is a high-level, interpreted programming language known for its simplicity, readability, and versatility. Created by Guido Van Rossum and first released in 1991, Python has become one of the most widely used programming languages for various applications, from web development to artificial intelligence. Great, thanks. Here are some key features of Python. It has simple and readable syntax. It is interpreted and dynamically typed. Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level programming language with dynamic semantics. It is designed for cross-platform development and can be deployed to multiple types of platforms. It has an extensive standard library. Python can be used to create a wide range of applications. Web development using frameworks like Django or Flask. Data analysis and visualization using libraries like Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib. Using libraries like data analysis and visualization. Using libraries like pandas, numpy, and matplot. <laughs> I apologize, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> data analysis and visualization. Data analysis and visualization using libraries like pandas, numpy, and matplotlib. Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning using TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn. Game, develop <laughs> Game development using Pygame Automation Scripting used for writing scripts to automate mundane tasks. Scientific Computing using SciPy and SimPy. Internet of Things, IoT using MicroPython for embedded systems. Python also has extensive community support. Right, let's look at an overview of C Sharp. C Sharp is a modern, object-oriented, general-purpose programming language developed by Microsoft in the early 2000s as part of its .NET initiative. A key developer and designer of C Sharp is the renowned Danish software engineer Anders Halsberg. C Sharp is designed to be simple, powerful, and versatile, making it suitable for a wide range of applications, from desktop, mobile, and web development to game development and cloud-based applications. Here are some key features of C Sharp. It is an object-oriented programming language, OOP language. C Sharp is a strongly typed language. Type safety is a core part of its design. Since the release of .NET Core in 2016, it can be used to develop apps on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It can be deployed to Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and more platforms. It has a rich standard library. Automatic memory management is provided by the underlying software substrate, .NET. It can be used in versatile application areas, namely web development, desktop applications, game development, 
widely used with game engines like Unity. Cloud services, mobile apps. Using .NET MAUI. There's of course much more to both of these top tier languages. That was of course just a simple overview. Please feel free to mention some of the other key features of Python and C Sharp in the comments section. If you like this video so far, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to ring that bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Which of these languages do you prefer and why? All comments are of course welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. Before we compare C Sharp to Python in key areas, I just want to say Python, perhaps more than ever, in terms of winning your attention in 2025, is a compelling choice. The reason for this, not sure if that was really necessary. You guessed it. The incredible rapid evolution of AI. Python is among the most popular programming languages, probably the most popular programming language for AI development due to its rich ecosystem of libraries and fast learning curve. But other programming languages like Java, C++ and Haskell also play a fundamental role in creating AI systems. Different languages have different strengths and are suited to different tasks. For example, Python is great for prototyping and data analysis, while C++ is better for performance intensive tasks. But in this video, we are looking at a general comparison between Python and C Sharp. For many, however, AI may be an overriding factor for prioritizing Python in 2025. I just thought it would be a good idea to mention this before we go through with the detailed comparison. Right, let's gorge ourselves on the delicious comparison details of these two scrumptious languages. Comparison, Python versus C Sharp. Python and C Sharp are both powerful, high level programming languages, but they differ significantly in syntax, paradigms, use cases, and ecosystems. Here's a breakdown of their key differences. Syntax and readability. Python has minimalist and clean syntax. It uses indentation for code blocks instead of braces, like in C Sharp. C Sharp syntax is more verbose and similar to C style languages. It uses curly braces to define blocks of code. Language design. Python is designed as a general purpose object oriented programming language, emphasizing readability and simplicity. It is dynamically typed, meaning its variable types are determined at runtime. The data types are determined at runtime based on the values assigned to the variables. Python is an interpreted language. It focuses on developer productivity and ease of learning. C Sharp is designed by Microsoft as a modern, object-oriented general purpose programming language with strong static typing. The statically typed variables in C Sharp are explicitly declared and checked at compile time, which does provide C Sharp developers with an advantage over Python developers where dynamically typed languages are more prone to type related runtime errors because the typing is not checked at compile time and because the variable types are interpreted at runtime in Python, which typically slows down runtime performance when compared to compiled C Sharp code where the typing has been checked and validated at compile time. So C Sharp is a compiled language. Typically it gets first compiled into intermediate language, IL code, and the .NET runtime then subsequently compiles the IL code into machine code at runtime using JIT, just-in-time compilation. C Sharp emphasizes performance, type safety, and compatibility with the .NET ecosystem. Typing. As discussed, Python is dynamically typed. So this can reduce development time when compared to writing code in C Sharp. As in Python, there is no need to declare variable types explicitly. Here's an example. C Sharp. As discussed, C Sharp is statically typed and variables typically require explicit type declarations. Here's a code example of this written in C Sharp. Ecosystem and libraries. Python. Python has extensive libraries for data science. AI ML, for example, TensorFlow, NumPy, Pandas, web development, Django, Flask, and automation. 
Python has cross-platform support. C Sharp is deeply integrated with the Microsoft ecosystem and .NET libraries. It is commonly used for enterprise applications, game development, for example using the Unity game engine or Godot, and Windows-based tools. Performance. Python is slower due to being interpreted and dynamically typed. It is often used for applications where speed isn't critical, such as web development or scripting. C Sharp is faster due to being statically typed and compiled. It is more suitable for performance critical applications such as games and desktop applications. Use cases. Python is great for creating the following types of apps. Data science, machine learning, web development, scripting, and automation. Please note that you can also create desktop apps, mobile apps, and games using Python. C Sharp can be used for game development using game engines like Unity or Godot. Enterprise applications, desktop applications, cross-platform mobile applications, and Windows services. So Python is arguably going to be much better for developing the following types of applications. Data science, AI and machine learning. Scientific computing and research. Quick prototyping and smaller applications. While C Sharp is going to be better for developing web applications, cloud native applications, games, cross-platform mobile applications, enterprise applications, and apps that generally require high performance. Development environments. Python is typically built using lightweight editors like VS Code, PyCharm, or even text editors like Sublime Text. So you are able to set up and start coding fairly quickly with Python. C Sharp apps are commonly developed using Visual Studio or JetBrains Rider, which provide robust tools but can feel heavier for small projects. Python has a larger beginner-friendly community. Python is easier to learn due to its simple syntax. The c -sharp community is smaller but strong, particularly among enterprise and game developers. c -sharp comes with a steeper learning curve compared to Python. Cross-platform compatibilities. Python is cross-platform by design. It runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. c -sharp was initially Windows-centric, but since 2016 is cross-platform with .NET Core. Since 2020 with the release of .NET 5, the two existing branches of .NET, .NET Framework, which could only run on Windows platforms, and .NET Core, which is cross-platform, were merged into one software substrate, simply known as .NET. .NET 9 was recently released in November 2024. Garbage collection. Both languages use garbage collection to manage memory. With Python, garbage collection is automatic, using reference counting and a cyclic garbage collector. In C Sharp, the .NET runtime has a sophisticated garbage collector that works seamlessly in the background. Conclusion. Which one to choose depends on your project goals. If you're a beginner or working on data science, AI, ML, or scripting tasks, Python might be better. If you're working on enterprise software or game development, C Sharp is a stronger choice. Please let me know if I've left anything out in the comments section. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section which one of these languages you are going to prioritize in 2025. And please also let me know your reasons for your choice. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Which of these technologies do you prefer and why? All comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. Typing. Python, as 